You know who's afraid of Donald Trump? Blue check Hollywood. You know who isn't? Joe Biden and the Democrats. They just, okay, well, let's, here we go. They, they just fucking fast track. They just passed pass his judges again yesterday. It, it, it's just, it's so ridiculous to see my old friends from comedy who are now fa- successful in Hollywood behind this camera or wherever. It's just so crazy. How hard is it to pressure your politicians to deliver something for people? They're go get a vote. What the fuck happened to people's mind? It's, it's alcoholic behavior. Again, we're an adult. We're, the United States is one big country filled of adult children of alcoholics. They don't get mad at the guy who's fucking you. They get mad at the guy who's telling you about the guy fucking you. That's what adult children of alcoholics do. And this won't stop. Hey, great reporter Josh Rogan, who is, uh, again, a, the worst of the worst of reporters. He's one of the scummiest of scum. Uh, here he is doing conspiracy theories. Straight up conspiracy theories, tweeting it out. Opinion, exclusive, secret CIA assessment. Putin probably directing influence operations to denigrate Biden. Are you ever skeptical of the CIA, Josh? No. The answer is no. Why? Because he's paid not to be. If he was, he would be fired, and he knows that, Mm -hmm. and that's why they hired him. Because he's willing to to push CIA talking points that he knows are false. Uh... Hey, secret guy might have said something. Uh, that's all you need to know. Secret CIA. That's it. It's over. It's a bullshit article. Here's the article. Here's the article, ready? Citing two unnamed sources who reviewed the assessment. <laughs> the Washington Post reported. Citing two unnamed sources who reviewed the assessment, the Washington Post reported, we assessed the pres- that pre- President Vladimir Putin and the senior most Russian officials are aware of and probably directing Russia's influence operations aimed at denigrating the former U.S. vice president and fueling public discord ahead of the U.S. election in November. Uh, sources unknown but close to the Washington Post predict sources include a gut and half a brain. Those are their two sources, their gut and half a brain. Those are the two unnamed sources. But this, this gets printed. If I did that, if I did that on this channel, that would get flagged and they would shut me down. Mm-hmm. If I did that on YouTube, I have a high, we have a higher standard at the Jimmy Dore YouTube show than they do at the Washington Post, New York Times, MSNBC, and CNN. We actually have a higher standard. Sources are unknown. And they print it. Love how the free press just uncritically repeats what the CIA says. You know, the assassination and drug running arm of the U.S. government. Hey, how does Putin control what comes out of Biden's mouth? (laughs) His own words and past actions are what's behind his floundering. I like how probably has taken a new meaning. First red flag, Josh Rogan. That's what, yep. <laughs> Second red flag, secret CIA assessment. Third red flag, probably directing. I don't believe this at all. <laughs> Here's Joe Biden. Uh, you want to know why Joe Biden's floundering? It has nothing to do with Vladimir Putin or Russia or a secret organization to undermine his credibility. It's because Joe Biden is a maniac. He's responsible for the prison industrial complex and he still doesn't apologize for it. You think I'm kidding? And whenever Joe Biden says something extra insidiously stupid and against workers, he whispers it like he's being clever. Watch this. Can you be a progressive and be so tough on crime? Well, <laughs> I'm not I progressive. I was wedded <laughs> to the notion every time Richard Nixon, when I was running in 1972, would say law and order, the Democratic mantra, the response was law and order with justice whatever that meant. And I'd say, lock the SOBs up. Well, just as it is no longer legitimate to say the Republican Party is against, as a matter of course, Social Security, the Republicans are finding out it's no longer legitimate to say the Democrats are soft on crime. Because guess what? What has every major crime bill that's gotten this far been? A Democratic 
crime bill. A democratic crime bill. That's the secret. A democratic crime bill. A democratic president wants 100,000 cops. So I guess if you believe the Washington Post, Putin wrote that script for him. Because that's why people won't vote for him. You know, the biggest voting block in America is the 100 million people who don't vote. Black people in Milwaukee would not vote. People who voted for Barack Obama twice would not vote for Hillary Clinton. Black people in Wisconsin, Michigan would not vote for Hillary Clinton. Same people who won't vote for this motherfucker. Did Putin write that script for him? Because that's why. Young black voters say they are enthusiastic about a Joe Biden presidency. Because they're informed. I can't believe Joe Biden picked a cop for his vice president. <laughs> he whispers whatever he's lying the hardest, by the way. Or when he, whenever he's saying the most insidious thing, he just lies. Watch this. You want to know what, why else is Joe Biden doing poorly? Explaining to do. The new questions stem from With taped the remarks of Biden States. during an April campaign appearance in New Hampshire. I went to law school on a full academic scholarship, the only one in my, in my class uh, to have a full academic scholarship. Went back to law school and, in fact, ended up in the top half of my class. I was the outstanding student in the political science department at the end of my year. I graduated with three degrees from undergraduate school and 165 credits, only 123 credits. Biden now concedes he did not graduate in the top half of his <laughs> law school class, that he does not have three degrees from college, and wow. that he was not named outstanding political science student in college. Newsweek says Biden actually went to school on a half scholarship, ended up near the bottom of his class, and won only one degree, not three. Joe Biden ranked 76th in a class of 85 at the University of Syracuse Law School. I mean, this guy comes off this whole thing as a flyweight. Now Biden says Newsweek is right. His memory had failed him. Joseph B His memory failed him. No. His memory failed him. Man, was I at the top of the class? <laughs> or was I at the bottom? I just can't remember. Was I? So did Russia, so Josh Rogan, did Russia time travel? Did their hackers time travel and screw with those speeches from Joe Biden? Is that what happened? Did Putin, time, are they time traveling back to the 80s to make Joe Biden into exactly what he is? A narcissistic, megalomaniac, pathological liar? That's who Joe Biden is. Did Russia make him that? Hey, fact check. Biden, again, dishonestly suggests he opposed the Iraq war from the beginning. He's a pathological liar. You're trying to beat a pathological liar with another pathological liar. Joe Biden says he may further increase military spending. <laughs> Joe Biden's working. He's looking out for the middle class. He wants to make sure they have jobs fighting wars for corporations. Why has the prison population exploded? Well, here we go. Let's listen. Another thing about how uh, perspectives change over time. Bobby Rush, member of Congress, said the other day, I'm ashamed that I voted for the 94 crime bill. You ashamed of that bill? Not at all. Um, in fact, I drafted the bill, as you remember. I know that. But if we elect him, we can push him left. But if we elect it, we can push him up, even though he's not willing to budge uh, when this might stop him from being elected. You can't get him to budge on this before the election. Uh, Biden's opposition to marijuana legalization is at odds with most Americans' views. But if we elect him, we can push him left. Eighty-seven percent of Democrats support Medicare for all, though Joe Biden doesn't. But if we elect him, we can push him left. The weapons industry lobbyists are, are advising Joe Biden. So he's already surrounding himself with great people.
Stuart Eisenstadt has worked as a powerful pol- politi- political advisor as well as a corporate lobbyist for the oil and arms industries. Hmm. Biden vows to bring back Obamacare's individual mandate penalty for not having insurance. <clears throat> Hey, Joe Biden, uh, the climate is collapsing. What's your message to gain confidence of the American people as the climate is collapsing around us? What is your message to gain confidence in the American people? I am not banning fracking. Let me say that again. I am not banning fracking, no matter how many times Donald Trump lies about me. I wonder, I bet, did Putin make him say that? Said that in Pennsylvania. And there are fracking activists who wag their finger at you to say you got to vote for that guy. Joe Biden is another problem that you better start getting ready to, to, to fight right now. <laughs> Things aren't going to get better after November if Joe Biden wins. Did you know that? Did you know things aren't going to get better? Did you know things are going to get worse? And do you know the Democrats and the corrupt media will continue to do evidence-free conspiracy theories at the top of their lungs to protect the establishment? Because that's what that is. Russiagate is there to protect the establishment. Josh Rogan, NBC News, MSNBC, and anybody who has a a fucking contract with MSNBC is there to manufacture consent and protect the establishment. And Russiagate, that's what Russiagate is. That's, MSNBC was invented by right-wing corporations to fuck over the left, you idiots. And if anybody has a contract at MSNBC, they are your enemy. That, what else do you need to know about them? You need to know more? <laughs> really? I guess you do. Hey, everybody, this is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you to join our premium program and get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video. 